So I have here a uh, TDK A33, I believe it is. Uh, it's uh, actually got quite a good sound to it, um, and I do like it. But um, the uh, nickel metal hydrides that were in here are uh, in terrible shape. So what I've done is I've uh, fitted a charge connector to it and um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull apart a laptop battery with uh, lithium ion cells in it. This is a HP uh, notebook battery. I've put a few of these lithium ion cells out, uh, check them, test them, make sure they work uh, and then we're going to pop them in here uh, on the bottom of this and uh, with a bit of luck we'll have a um, a TDK A33, a Bluetooth a sound speaker system that lasts a really long time. What we need to do then is just uh, make sure we're in voltage mode and just have a quick look across these. 2.8 volts, uh, so Put them all in uh, in parallel for now, and uh, charge them all up, and uh, see what happens. Uh, see if we can uh, see if we can get some see if we can get them up to um, a decent voltage level, uh, such as uh, 4.2 volts. And then what we're going to do is we will have them set in uh, series. Well, two two parallels, two series like this, uh, and uh, that will be stuck to the bottom of the TDK A33 sound Bluetooth speaker system. Obviously it will be taped up and it will look pretty and all the rest of it. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Uh, careful, um, these things have, uh, have got sharp edges and um, occasionally you might cut yourself, so cool. Okay, so here are the batteries uh, on charge. They're on charge using the IMAX B6 battery charger. It does uh, many different types of batteries, including lithium ion, uh, and it does balance charges for various, various things, quadcopters, hobby batteries, racing car batteries, all that kind of madness. Anyway, um, the batteries are on charge. I've got them set at about a two amp rate, and uh, they're currently at 3.67 volts. You can see there uh, below the voltage, uh, just gone up to 200, 201, uh, that's how many milliamps um, they are accepting. So they're looking positive. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I've made uh, two battery packs. Here they are, uh, both uh, two sets of lithium ion cells. I've marked up uh, plus side, positive side. And so uh, these guys, very carefully, need to be fitted with some insulation between them and um, they will live underneath that, uh, something like that. Um, and uh, here's a, a cable that I've bodged together, uh, positive, a um, thermistor to detect uh, if things are going over temperature, and uh, negative. So yeah, just gotta wire these up and uh, then we can fit them And here she is, <clears throat> in all of her wondrous glory, with a whole set of new, fat, hairy batteries connected to the bottom of it. Uh, so this bad boy, it's just a little rubber doofer on the side here. Turn it on. And then you press the, uh, press the on button just once briefly on the top. Boom, fired up. Turn the volume down, put her in Bluetooth mode, she'll connect up with the phone and she'll start playing music. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to actually play you any music. The TDK A33 Bluetooth sound system with the um, modified lithium ion uh, batteries and connector and all the rest of it plugged in, charging and um, it's been on charge for 170 minutes and uh, we're 
at uh, 408, well, sorry, 4,800 something milliamp hours at the moment. So she's taken a good charge. Um, I felt the batteries, nothing's getting hot, no, nothing's even warm. So um, this looks like a success. Happy days.